In this video I'm going to show you how you can make a custom thumbnail image for your YouTube videos using Serif Draw Plus X8. So if you have this program installed on your PC, it's a great program to make um, thumbnails for your YouTube channel. So I'm just going to open up the program as normal, just wait for it to load for in, in a few seconds. Okay, so when Draw Plus X8 opens, what we need to do from the starter page, we need to create a custom image. So select custom option, and then on the right hand side, we want to enter the dimensions we want. So first of all, we want to select um, pixels, which is down here, pixels. Then we want to enter 1080, sorry, 1280 by 720. So once that's entered, click OK. We should then get a uh, 1280 by 720 screen we can work from. So this is the, the white outline we see here is the size of the image. So say for example, we just want to create a basic image to promote our YouTube video. What I like to do is to add some background. So from the left hand toolbar, we can see here the um, there's all different shapes and options here. So I like to choose the rectangle so I can then go to the top corner here, draw the rectangle all the way into the corner, try and make it as accurate as possible in size. You can also, um, through the transform option down on the right hand side, you can enter these at dimensions if you want to, So, but I'm, I'm happy with that. So once you're happy with the size of the um, background you want, you can also use the align option on the right hand side again to just centralize the background so obviously white's a bit bland so we can from the color option up here we can choose a different color so i just choose um i choose a light purple or a pinkish color uh, we'll actually have a dark pinkish color so i'm quite happy with that so what i like to do then is to give the background some kind of extra depth so what i'm going to do is gonna, i'm going to select right click and copy then i'm going to paste so I pasted exactly the same background, but instead of this time now, I'm going to go, go back to the, um, the color option. Then I'm going to choose the vector. What I want to choose is um, lines and hatches. So I'm going to choose some lines. I'll just choose this one. So you can now see there's some lines on the in front of the background. So to adjust that, all we need to do is to click on the fill tool. Then we can go up and down just to make the lines slightly bigger, more attractive so I'm happy with that so just try to make the screen a bit smaller so you can see it all so so now we have a, a basic background consisting of some color and some lines just to make it attractive so if we wanted to add some text to where we're um, thumbnail we can choose the text option again from the left hand side we can either have artistic text tool or frame tool the frame tool allows you to add text and then change the background color. So if I select frame tool, we're just going to then draw the size of the box we want. Before we type in the text, we can adjust the size up here. So I just choose, say, 120. Actually, I'd, you can enter. You can also enter it manually. I just choose 100. So, so now I'm just going to type YouTube. video so once that's done we can also adjust the uh, size of the box if the text is not fitting in it so again just adjust the box accordingly so so if we want to change the background color just select the the box itself then go back to the color tab up here choose a color you want um, what you need to do is to click on the empty fill space here, so click that, and you can click blue any color you like. So I'll choose um, try green, add yellow. Uh, I don't want that. We'll, we'll stick with the um, 
let's go for a light blue. So I'll just choose that one. So again, I'm just going to adjust the box slightly. We can also center the text by using the top toolbar here, center the paragraph. We could also then change the font style. I don't like particularly like that font style they've given me, so. So we'll just choose any one. I'll just choose this one for time being. We can also select the, the text again and add some borders to it. So you can choose the um, styles here. I'm choosing lines. I'm going to go for a spray can just to give it a nice border so that sticks out nicely so we've then created the basic background and some text um, explaining our video so if we wanted to say add some images we can either use the insert picture option here you can drag and drop um, pictures from your PC to the um, thumbnail in my case I'm just going to use the built-in gallery over here again there's lots of different pictures you can choose from in this program. Uh, for example, if I had a Christmas related video, I could maybe use this option. I could drag an elf. I could drag some some of that, whatever that is. Uh, there's a polar bear. So, again, we can just place these where we want them and kind of align them properly. So that's kind of looking like a decent kind of thumbnail. Of course the kind of images you add, you can take a screenshot from the actual video you're using and add, add it and just add some text on the bottom if you want. So I'm kind of liking the way that looks, just adjust them slightly. So it's nice and simple. Just to, I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to select the lines on the background. I'm going to go back to the styles and just choose the spray can option again. Just to give it some more style. This time I'm going to change the color to um, to white. So I think that kind of looks quite attractive now. So. So we've got like a spray can kind of border around the, out, around the edge of the image itself. So so basically, you know, that's how you create a very simple um, thumbnail for your YouTube video using Serif Draw Plus X8. So the next step is to save the image. So what you want to do is just, just to literally click on the gray space, then select export picture. Sometimes export pictures under file and um, what is it? Export here, export picture. Before you export it, just make sure that it's that the width is 1080 by 720. Um, in terms of file format, JPEG is good. I think you can also use PNG and GFI, but JPEG is good for YouTube. So we've now created a nice simple thumbnail for a YouTube video. So the next step is to click export save it to a picture folder or any folder you like. So I've done that now. If I just look in my picture folder, you can see the drawing here. So I just click on that. So there it is. So basically once I'm uploading a video to YouTube, if I wanted to upload a custom thumbnail using this program, all I'd have to do is select it from here and upload it and it would show us that thumbnail. So Basically, it's really as simple as that. So what I recommend you do is also, if you save this, just click on File and click Save As. You can then always open up that um, particular file, that particular size image, and just delete what's on you already and just add some new content. So instead of you going through the custom process again, just save this file, and it will open up as um, 1280 times 720. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.